Do you know that mathematics, physics, biology, chemistry, and engineering, and meteorology have a relationship and connection to environmental science as interdisciplinary academic field? Yes, and that is what we're going to explore. Our environment consists of abiotic and biotic factors that give life to our blue planet and create beautiful landscape. However, there are terrible disastrous occurrences that causes disturbance and fatality to all living organisms. For example, super typhoon, earthquake, volcanic eruptions, forest fire, and many more. But you know what is the most terrifying? The human activities. Pollution, overfishing, deforestation, improper disposal, and even rampant killings of threatened and endangered species. In this video, we are focusing the important relationship of environmental science to other academic disciplines. Let's have first environmental science and the mathematics. We cannot determine the exact location of a landmass without the help of mathematics. The numbers that will determine the exact location and how far the location is. For example, we're just curious about how far the Philippines to China. With proper mathematical equations and solving the distance in miles would determine the exact interval of place to another one. We cannot compute the total population of an organism without applying mathematics as well. Second, physics and environmental science. Physics lies at the core of the earth sciences. It is essential for understanding the deep structure of earth and the natural phenomena that affect earth's surface, such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. This is our planet earth. As you can see, it's just only a round or an oblate spheroid. But thanks to physics, because of it, we can explore more about the structure and composition of Earth. And through phys physics, we've learned the Earth has four major structures. The crust, the mantle, the inner core, and the outer core. Moreover, physics answers why the object falls. Let's show Let's watch this video in connection with physics and environmental science. May tanong ang dalagang si Stephanie. Bakit daw kaya nung naglakad siya sa tabing dagat ng barangay Tagas sa San Jose Camarines Sur, bigla na lang tumayo ang kanyang buhok? Ang hair racing experience ni Steph ipinasuri namin sa physics teacher ng Philippine Science High School sa Bicol Region na si Andrew Tenorio. Ayon sa kanya, ang pag-angat ng buhok ni Steph, kayang-kayang ipaliwanag ng siyensya. According to Coulomb's law, light charges repel and unlight charges attract. Nagiging electrically charged ang katawan ng mga tao kapag ang katawan ng tao ay nagkaroon ng contact sa isang electrically charged na object. Ang ganito mga pangyayari ay delikado kasi ito ay nagsisilbing early warning na posibleng may dumating na kidlat. Third, biology and environmental science. We cannot say the earth has an environment without the presence of living organisms the flora and the fauna. Our environment is our surroundings that has presence of organisms. So, here is the que question. Why biology has a connection to environmental science? We cannot understand so well the behavior, morphology, and the origin of an organism that our environment has without biology. For instance, all organisms descend from a single cell and through evolution the theory by Charles Darwin all living organisms evolved cells come together from form tissues 
tissues form organs, organs form organ system, and organ systems combine to form an organism. Another example, the evolution of humans. Look at this picture. From our ancestor apes, then now I am handsome and you are beautiful and handsome too. So this two are all about understanding more about the relationship of environment and organisms when it comes to their physical and morphological adaptations as well as origin. Fourth is chemistry and environmental science. Are you, fami are you familiar with this? Yes, this is periodic table of elements. These elements found here are present in our environment. Chemistry can help us to understand, to understand, monitor, and protect and improve the environments around us. By this time, chemists are developing tools and techniques to make sure that we can see and measure air and water pollution. They have helped to build the evidence that shows how our climate has changed over time. Another example, this picture. The photo shows myself measuring the, sal the salinity and the pH of a water and different time interval to seek or determine the measurements of salinity and the acidity of water and different location. So here the two branches of science which are chemistry and the environmental science meet to study the chemical factors and provide data for analysis. Fifth, engineering and environmental science. We all know that the natural phenomena are unstoppable, but we can predict this. How? By the help of engineering, engineers are can able to create an advanced technology that will use or that can use for thorough research and investigation with exact data information regarding the activity of natural occurrences, for example, in volcanic activity. So using uh, seismometers, it can detect or predict the volcanic eruptions. Then lastly, meteorology and environmental science. Environmental science focuses not only in studying Earth's envir environment, but also in finding solutions to the world's most pressing environmental problems. The collaboration of this, this, uh, the collaboration of these two, solving global warming by providing quality calibration, testing, and certification services. For instance, we can know easily monitor the situation of our atmosphere, especially the amount of carbon footprints detected in our atmosphere, and that causes the global warming, and by that we can give solution on it and share awareness to everyone by stopping human activities that gradually destroy our environment. So that would be all. Thank you for watching.